This concealer is gorgeous. Gorgina. Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. So today, I kind of wanted to do a different type of video. I have seen so many cosmetics brands, skincare brands, doing so many things, so many amazing things for coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you wanna call it. I feel too official calling it COVID-19, so I'm just gonna call it coronavirus. My sister, Gina, actually sent me an article on all of these brands that were doing such amazing things, donating to charities, donating a portion of profits to medical workers, donating supplies, like the list goes on and on, and I honestly wrote everything down because I was so inspired and just like so proud to be a part of a community that's giving back so much. You know, normally the beauty community and industry is very petty, very catty, very self-absorbed. It just is really amazing to see all these different types of brands come together and do something for good. So I wanted to do a video today celebrating those brands and doing a makeup tutorial with brands who have been specifically helping out with coronavirus and helping you know the healthcare workers, helping their employees, just everything in general. I wanted to celebrate brands and bring attention to those brands because I want to support brands like that, you know? I was watching the One World at Home the other day, the concert that Lady Gaga had put together, and I was so inspired, and my emotions were like, all over the place because in one moment I felt so happy to see everybody coming together but also it's so incredibly sad like there are thousands of people dying it just is such a weird time like like I was crying because I was happy to see like everybody coming together but then I was also crying because it's so sad like oh it's just there's no other way to put it other than it's just weird it's so weird and my emotions have been all over the place as I'm sure a lot of you have as well and in that moment I really realized what's important to me in the world and that is giving back and celebrating brands that do give back and so that's why I am doing this tutorial and today the AdSense from this video I will be donating to Feeding America so that nobody has to worry about where their meals are gonna be coming from next uh, again we have amazing brands that are doing things I wrote everything down and you know, there may be some brands that I missed and um, I'm sorry for that in advance, but you know, I wrote down the brands that I felt like resonated the most with me and with what they were doing, you know, donating wise. I just spit all over myself. <laughs> Also, I don't wanna hear anything in the comments about one brand not doing enough. At least they're doing something. Even though there are a lot of brands that are doing something, there still are a lot of brands that aren't. So let's celebrate those brands and support those brands that are doing something because I think it's amazing. And like I said, it's great to be a part of something like that. So without further ado, Let's get into this video. So the first makeup product today we're gonna be using is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. And I'm using it in the shade Dutch. Before we apply it, I just wanna tell you guys what Milk Makeup has done. On April 10th, 100% of their proceeds on their website went to New York City Relief Funds. They raised over $106,000 in 24 hours and contributed $250,000 worth of makeup to frontline providers and healthcare workers. So I thought that that was amazing. I'm gonna zoom you guys on in and get started with the brows. So I'm just gonna go on in and stroke this throughout the entire brow area. This is a really nice product. It's like very hydrating for your brows too. Cause it had good old cushion in you know what I'm And I always like to go through my brows with like some type of colored gel because not only do I have like sparseness, my brow hairs are curly so I really need them to stay in place. So this is a really great product. And then what I always do is because the front parts of my brows, especially on my left eyebrow, likes to curl over. So I'll just go in with my spoolie that I have 
and make sure everything is sticking straight up because I don't want them curving. I always like to do my eyes first because I like to like rest my hand on my face and I also get a lot of fallout and eh, I just like it that way. So for eyeshadow primer, since I'm not really gonna be using a primer, I'm gonna use a concealer, it pretty much does the same thing. We're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Concealer and Fenty Beauty, Rihanna has donated over $5 million to COVID-19 relief efforts and Rihanna owns Fenty Beauty, she's CEO, so I felt like this was fitting to put on the list and also incredible that she was able to raise and donate that much money so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over and i'm gonna blend it out with my finger and the shade i'm using is 190 it's a great shade for my concealer as well like for underneath my eyes if you're kind of questioning what shade you should be you guys the dogs have been up my ass they have been following me everywhere and although i love it and i love bragging to riley about how much the dogs love me i am really nervous for when things do go back to normal and the dogs are gonna have such bad separation anxiety. I mean, they are following me into the closet, into the bathroom. Mo wants to be on my lap while I'm peeing. I'm like, all right, this is like too much now. Look at how pretty this packaging is. I love anything with like holographic vibes. So for eyes, I really wanna play around with the MAC X Selena palette. This is what the palette looks like, kind of an homage to her iconic rhinestones, you know? Oh, this is really cute. They give you a little Selena sleeve here. That's really cute. That's like real custom. And for those of you that don't know, Mac donated over 10 million to 250 local organizations all over the world for COVID-19 reliefs. It's incredible, incredible, incredible. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. You guys know there's some pinks in there. We got some reds, some neutral tones. So I'm gonna play around. So I think I might create an all matte look. I know, who am I? I don't know either. So I'm gonna go in first with this light shade just to set my crease a little bit since this is more of a concealer rather than an eyeshadow primer. I just wanna make sure we're Gucci and good to go, you know? And I know it's probably not picking up on camera but there is like a nice little tint to this light shade next I'm gonna go in with this shade and work that entirely in the crease darling and I'm using like a very light hand for everything as well seriously who am I not wanting to use the pink shades like I don't even know myself anymore and what I'm gonna start to do is use that shade and work on the outer V and kind of diagonally blow it out going in with this more chocolate color we're gonna be doing the same kind of thing like angling it out on the outer V and then bringing it slightly in the crease and I'm going in with the Morphe M456 brush and I'm going nice and slow because I don't want it to get too dark too quickly I want to be able to still blend it out nicely and then lastly you guessed it beach we're going in with the darkest shade right here and following that same pattern. I know it looks a little bit rough right now, but it always turns out in the end, you know? So just kind of going in the outer V, fluffing it out and in the crease. Another tip, one of my favorite tips, is to always have a brush on deck that you're not using or haven't used yet to blend. So like, you know, obviously that's a little bit of a harsh edge. So you go in with a brush that has no additional product on it. It blends out like a dream, you know? It just blends out so much better. So that's kind of like my trick for when I'm working with darker colors or if I want things to look really seamlessly blended, that's my favorite fish. So I got to play Song Association with Angel Marino, Mac Daddy, for Artist Couture, Home Cella, and it was so fun. I actually won. I couldn't believe it. Even with my scratchy ass voice, I still was able to win. How you do win? So I was like very, very, very excited. And it was so fun. Like, I'm so glad like Angel was able to bring all of us together to do something fun and positive and just like, you know, do something entertaining for you guys. And thanks for everyone who was cheering me on in there. And again, I'm just kind of fanning it out. These shadows are actually really easy to work with. Some MAC shadows, personally, I feel like could be hit or miss. You never know what you're really working with. It looks like a mess is going on, but I promise on my life, 
life, it's gonna come together. So we're gonna pick back up the Fenty concealer. I'm gonna plop some of it on the back of my hand here, and I'm gonna use a very sharp, detailed brush. I'm gonna use this tiny ass brush. We're gonna be here for like four hours because of it, but I don't know where my other flat brushes are. So I am gonna just carve this, and I'm gonna like drop it about there like a halfway point. And what we're gonna do is take this white shade or this light shade, the one we originally went in with first, and we are gonna tap that all over here, all right? We're gonna tap it all over. Tap, tap, tap. Actually, I'm gonna use a brush because my fingers aren't messing it up. Yeah, don't use your fingers, use a brush. Sorry, that's my bad. And I'm just filling this in. And then what we're gonna do is pick up that dark shade again and just kind of like blend it together. So just take your time with this if you wanna do like this kind of like semi cut crease vibes cause you're gonna need a lot of patience and a lot of time. Cause it's not the easiest. And I keep going in and kind of cleaning up the edges like so. I'm gonna go back in with my brush. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from Cotton Eye Joe? Use some of the dark shade and just kind of like blend this onto there. It's gonna take some time and some patience, so stay with me, but we will get there. Yeah, it's already starting to work. You can even take some like lighter brown shade if you want to like get a nice seamless blend going. That already looks a million times better. Gotta work on this upper part here. But otherwise, we're getting there, Beach. We're getting there. For liner, we are going to be using House Labs eyeliner in the shade Punk and House Labs not only has Lady Gaga donated and raised over $50 million, put together a virtual concert, brought together some amazing celebrities, musical collabs we never thought would even happen. 20% of profits from House Labs went to LA food banks and New York City food banks. So I thought that that was incredible. Again, just one of the other reasons that I really love Lady Gaga and love House Labs. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna basically like follow the outline that I got going on here. This is the wrong shade. <laughs> okay, now we got the right shade. <laughs> Whoops! And I'm just kind of like bringing it up as far high as I want it to go. I don't want it to go like too crazy, but. And just dragging it on in. And filling in this wing. This liner is seriously amazing. It is so dark, so easy to use. It doesn't dry out very quickly like other felt tip liners, you know? Oh, I love the way that looks. Wait, why do I keep getting a little bit of that patchiness? That's annoying me. You see that like little patch there? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. You guys have seen me do eyeliner a million times and we'll be right back. So this is what we got working with. I popped on a Lily Lash and we're gonna go in now with the Milk Makeup Moisturizer. Something weird is going on with this eye right now. I think I have a really bad dry patch right there because I keep trying to build it up and blend it out and it's just not working. So just pay attention to this eye. This is the nice, good-looking eye today, okay? And we're just gonna go in and moisturize our face, get ready for some foundation. And like I said, like, there are so many brands that are giving back. I may not be able to use every single brand, but I definitely am gonna mention the ones that I have written down. For foundation today, we're gonna be using the Milk Makeup Stick Foundation. You guys, it has been forever since I've used a stick foundation, and sometimes I do get a little bit of an allergic reaction from Milk Makeup's products, so I'm praying to God that this won't. I'm pretty sure it won't because I've been using their like highlighter a lot and also this moisturizer hasn't done anything so I'm hoping that I'll be good. So we are using the shade Golden Nude and I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe everything on. When I first started makeup, stick foundations used to be my absolute favorite. They were like everything to me. I loved them. I thought they were so good. I still think they're really good. The Makeup Forever one is like one of my holy grails. And I think what I wanna do is just go in with a beauty blender. I'm gonna spritz my face just a little bit too. This is the Fresh Beauty Vitamin Nectar Water. And Fresh Beauty actually put out a statement. They were one of the first brands 
brands I saw saying that they are going to make sure to pay everybody during this time and pay all their employees. And I know that you may think like, oh, okay, that's not really a big deal, but it is because there's thousands of people that work for companies and the fact that they are paying them and still able to do that is incredible. Wow, this is blending out really nicely with a blender. I'm actually kind of glad that I haven't been able to go out and shop for new makeup because it's kind of forcing me to try my stash a little bit more. Let me know if you guys want to see a video like that, like a shop my stash, anything like that. The coverage on this is pretty good. I would say it's medium. I'm gonna definitely go over in some areas, but for the most part, it's pretty nice. For concealer, we're gonna be going in with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. I actually never used this. Jouer actually is making hand sanitizer, which I think is incredible, and they have an offer going on for one donation with every purchase, and I thought that that was amazing, and I'm excited to include them in this and actually test this out because I've never tried it, and I've heard really great things. Like I saw Desi say that she really liked it, and I think I saw Laura Lee say she liked it as well. I like the applicator that it comes in. I think it's really cute. Where do all these little fuzzes come from is like what I wanna know. Whenever I do my makeup, the amount of fuzz that just comes out of nowhere, I'm like, Fuzz gods, please stop. Thank you so much. And I'm just gonna blend this out. There are also quite a few of other makeup companies that are using factories and facilities to make hand sanitizer, and I thought that that was really cool too. One honorable mention is Estee Lauder. I have it on my sheet here. Estee Lauder is opening factories to produce hand sanitizers to give to hospitals and healthcare providers. This concealer is gorgeous. Gorgina. It's very, very creamy, right up my alley, you know, because I'm really got that dry skin going on, so that really helps, especially now more than ever. I feel like my skin has been dry and just a little bit like needing more help. I also have been wearing makeup a lot more, like doing more videos. I think that that also has a little bit to do with it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face off camera and be back for bronzer, blush, highlighter, lipstick. For bronzer, we're gonna be going in with Fenty Beauty. This is seriously one of my favorite bronzers ever. This is the Private Island Bronzer, and this is the bronzing shade I like to use when I don't have a tan. So this one matches like my normal color really nicely. And I really like bronzers that are a bit more warm tone. We're gonna shine, shine, bright, shine, far, be a star. We're gonna use the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. Flex on these bitches with our glow, you know? That's a little bit too much glow down there. Like I always try to push and use new products, but it is so hard when this highlighter is just too damn good, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and add some blush now. Ooh, we're gonna add the new MAC blushes. Those are so good. I love them. They're like a little like bouncy formula too. So this is a pale pink, kind of like cool tone. I, I feel like it almost even has like a hint of purple in there. This is in the shade Totally Synced. And if you guys can see, you can like press it. Actually, I have one in my bathroom. My beauty room is disconnected from my house. And if I bring a product inside my house and it's like in my bathroom, you know it's good. And I've been using it for like my no makeup makeup days and like adding a little bit of that just rosiness. So let's go in. Like it's like a very subtle pink. Can you guys tell? I really love the subtleness of it. It's like, hey, I'm like kind of have blush on, but not really, but I do for sure. And I always add a little bit to the center of my nose. That's like my new favorite thing. For our lower lash, I'm gonna smoke it out using these two colors right here from the MAC Selena palette. And I'm gonna go in with a brush. Obviously, what else would I go in with? My toe. Just get that going down there. And last up for lips, I wanna use one of the House Labs new lippies. We're gonna go in with Lavender Blonde. This is from their Lay Riot Lip Gloss. Oh my god, I love it. It's a really nice purple tint. It goes good with like a matte look like this because it's like, ooh, she got shiny glossy lips with like a neutral matte eye. It's like, you could dress it up 
with a lip. Okay, you guys, and this is the finished look. I really love the way this came out. And again, this entire video was to celebrate and support the brands who are actually giving back. I wanted to do some honorable mentions. Kylie Cosmetics is manufacturing hand sanitizer to donate to hospitals in Southern California. Murad Skin Care, on March 31st through April 6th, a percentage of their sales from their website went to No Kid Hungry. L'Oreal, which is a huge brand Brand and owned by a lot of other brands, donated $250,000 to Feeding America. They're using their facilities to produce hand sanitizer and donating $1 million worth of personal care product to feed children and give protective masks. Dyson is producing 15,000 units of ventilators. Pharmacy Beauty is matching donations made to Feed America and have given 10,000 meals a day for one month. Thrive Cosmetics on March 20. 7th, 100% of their profits from their websites went to Meals on Wheels, Baby to Baby, and Feed America. Tula Skin Care donated to cover 5,000 masks in New York City. They also developed a Star Bright mask, which is 100% of the proceeds going to sourcing medical supplies. Lush provided thousands of products to hospitals, homeless shelters, airports, and emergency workers. And Honest Beauty donated essentials to Baby to Baby. I'm sure there are a bunch more, but those were the ones that really stood out to me. And again, this entire video is to celebrate them and just, you know, bring kindness and give back because right now we need to do that more than ever and I'm just honored to be a part of the beauty community especially when we are doing good <laughs> but yeah I hope this can encourage you guys to do some acts of kindness donate if you can even a dollar goes a long way I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time stay safe and please listen to the HWO and the CDC Please, 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 please. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.